Well, howdy everyone, my name's Chris, and today I'm looking at something completely different. The very expensive and very unique Canon 8-15mm f4 USM L fisheye lens. I've always been a bit of a fan of fisheye lenses, and this one could probably be considered to be the king of them all. On a full frame camera, at 8mm you get an amazing full circular fisheye image, 180 degrees from corner to corner. This means you'll be getting very dramatic images and video, which few other lenses can possibly replicate. But the really cool thing is that you can zoom in to 15mm for a regular fisheye effect, which covers the entire image frame. What a handy feature! But it's one that you can only really access on one of Canon's expensive full-frame digital cameras. On a normal APS-C camera, the full image circle is cropped, so 8mm looks like this and a full fisheye effect comes in sooner at 10mm and zooming in further to 15mm. The lens actually has a limiter switch which can prevent you going wider than 10mm for this very reason, so it's less impressive on an APS-C camera, but a very high asking price of the lens will mean that, probably, only full frame camera users will be really interested anyway. Let's look at build quality. The lens is nice and compact and feels very solid in your hand, as Canon's L lenses normally do. The zoom and focus rings work very smoothly, and the USM autofocus on this lens is extremely fast and quiet, as you can see here. Most noticeable is the protruding front element, which looks worryingly vulnerable. A lens hood is provided, but if you're using a full frame camera then it'll introduce extra vignetting to your images wider than 10mm, so you'll often want to leave it off. Another slight issue is the lens cap, which doesn't attach very securely and can easily snap off. Disappointing for such a pricey piece of equipment. But there are more good things to see, including weather sealing at the rear, as well as a compartment for gel filters should you want to use them. All in all, the lens is built very nicely, as you'd expect. Thinking about how best to test the sharpness of this lens made my brain hurt, so I decided to shoot my usual test wall, which turned out fine. Obviously, this shot is from a full frame camera, a 20 megapixel Canon 6D. And with the aperture wide open at f4, we see fantastic sharpness in the centre of the image. The corners also look very good, although they're slightly darker and chromatic aberration is noticeable but that's pretty typical for any fisheye lens. Stop the lens down to f5.6 for a noticeable increase in sharpness and brightness, but even at f8 we can still see hints of chromatic aberration. The picture quality in the middle remains perfect. Let's zoom in to 15mm, where we have pretty much the same story. From f4 you get razor sharp image quality in the middle of the image, which is still good in the corners, although some darkness and chromatic aberrations are notable. At f5.6 again, the lens is sharper and bright in the corners, but the chromatic aberration remains, even stopped down to f8. Well, apart from the chromatic aberrations, which can be corrected in photo software anyway, we can say that the 8-15mm really is an excellent performer on a full frame camera. And the story remains basically the same when we test the lens on an APS-C camera, in this case my trusty 18 megapixel Canon 60D. I'll just test it at 10mm, as that's what most people will want to be using. Sharpness in the middle of the frame is fantastic and remains excellent in the corners of the image, although unfortunately chromatic aberrations are even worse on APS-C, giving strong purple highlights. Stop down to f5.6 for extra sharpness and brightness, although the chromatic aberration never really goes away, even at f8. So again, apart from the chromatic aberrations, which are fixable, it's a pretty great performance from this pricey little lens. The lens has an amazing minimum focus distance, which allows you to get up close to, well, whatever you like really. This can get you some very creative shots, and one good thing is that the lens has very nice smooth bokeh, if you can get some out of focus backgrounds. Another good thing is that the lens works very well against bright lights, as you can see in this footage taken against the sun. There's only a tiny bit of flaring, so that's a good performance which is important for a fisheye lens. All in all, the lens is a great performer in every way, 
It's just a ridiculous amount of fun to use if you have a full frame camera. It can get you shots and footage that are completely unique, perspectives which will set your work apart from the competition. If you're using an APS-C camera, I'd probably recommend getting the Samyang 8mm fisheye lens instead, as it'll cost you about a quarter of the price of this expensive L lens. But full frame camera users? You're looking at a beautiful thing, a lens that's as unique as it is fun and an extremely high quality product in every way. If you can protect the lens's vulnerable front element, and if you can afford it, then this lens comes very highly recommended.